Hello, everybody. Uh, uh. You're a disgusting human being. Troubleshooting mode activated. Uh -oh. Please. Isn't it just called arthritis? If you want to die in a fiery mosh pit for all eternity, I'd keep speaking like that, heathen. I like those plants. Yeah? I planted them too. <laughs> <laughs> How to harness Satan to get sales. 77 ways to improve your sales and spaghetti. Tell hey, us about the phone. Check it out. It's got one message. Hi, this is Sue. My prodigy child is acting out and doing an arts degree. You told me to turn him on and off again. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Children don't have on and off switches. Unless it's like knocking them out or something, <laughs> which I'm prepared to do. Uh, hell, I might even do it if it's not required. That's knock them out with cuddles and hot chocolate. I I don't beat my children. Anyway, can you help us out? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, desktop <laughs> dancer. Dude, look at how big this screen is. <laughs> and look at like what I have to point to <laughs> to investigate the desktop dancer. <laughs> Is a screen of detail and value, and also this man has been drinking a lot of vodka. <laughs> Blah! <laughs> Seriously, um, look. Oh yeah, desk. Jesus. empty bottles. Pretty sure that's vodka. I thought it was a different set of bottles. It is a different set of bottles, but you say, hey, it's a fun grenade. Fun grenade. Let your enemies explode into a million pieces. Fun, fun, fun. Marketing explosives to children has come leaps and bounds this past decade. Morale has been low recently, so we organized a bring your pet to work day on Tuesday. Jerry, do not bring your bear. We do not want a repeat of Friday Frenzy. Speaking of which, we are holding a minute silence now every Friday. Anyway, last thing, if you want to drink from the water cooler, you need to use your official Dupa Genetics cup or it won't dispense. Too many people have been filling their Jerry cans and bringing it home. <laughs> Management. How do you fill up a jerry can. <laughs> I guess you would use a hose. Like this. It's a hose connected to the water cooler. The source of his watery power. <laughs> I came to work only drunk twice this week. Nothing like making creepy replica animatronics to show how much you mean to the company. Look at door. It's the room's exit, but seems to be blocked shut by the water cooler. Water cooler of agony! Water cooler of agony. Sorry. How is it blocked by the water cooler? As in, like, he's keeping it shut. Oh. With his power! You have the Cruz Army knife. Which I can use on a hose. Say goodbye to your watery power. Ha! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Wait till I evaporate? Nope, I'm gonna find a mug. Yeah, there's one on top of the books. Oh, hell yeah. Pick up that mug. This could be useful. Yoink. Wait. Damn it. It's glued to the books. Damn you, Jim, and your jovial work-related pranks. Uh, take the books. <laughs> I guess I'll just pick up the books. What? And be a nerd? That's what you'd <laughs> want, nerd. You're just a big, fat, virgin nerd. Or, more realistically, anyone, really. As gaming demographics are quite diverse <laughs> these days. Oh my god, there's so much dialogue here. I want to do it, and I don't want to do it. Pick up these pens. Hey look, he's got a code man. Now I can go take public thing. property. Take that, society. You will have to endure my deep toilet cubicle philosophies. Hey, figurine. Pick it up. <laughs> Let me walk all the way to the other side. One does not steal another man's action figure. It's frowned upon in the man-child community. You are listening to the fridge, baby! First of all, you better wrap your leftovers while I wrap. The door was left open, the room is cold. Forget the toaster, I'm the illest in the kitchen. Knocked out the foreman grill, put the stick in a submission. You should listen, mister, got a real chill bargain. Those opposed wind up on a milk cart. Woo! Have you checked the bottom cupboards? I haven't checked them. Let's try. 
Ooh, nothing. <laughs> Ooh, a cup. Nice. And here I was hoping the entire universe would be contained in some cheap Swedish furniture. But a cup would do. Nope. <laughs> you want to drink me? Too bad. That is not the official cup. You can't do jack shit. Wait a minute. We have a pen. <gasps> You're right. Artistic. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling you, I'll just refill. What the hell? Tee -hee. Oh, well then. Enjoy drinking me, you sick bastard. Yeah. Time to get my drink on. <laughs> One refreshing hour later. <laughs> that was pretty refreshing, actually. Except for the part where he was screaming in agony. Begging for his life when I was literally drinking him to death. <laughs> hey, the what? door's open. He <laughs> Water cooler of doom corpse. <laughs> Kinda weird that I drank him. He is now inside of me. I am going to stop talking now. <laughs> this concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics facility. <laughs> As a closing note, those cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more voiceover. How am I supposed to live on these terrible wages? I'm taking you down with me, Duper Genetics. You hear me? This whole place is going to explode any second! Get away from me! <laughs> Thank you again for attending the Duper Genetics Tour. Have a nice day. Did they have to chainsaw him? I swear to God, if you do any weird stuff, I'm going to be so upset with you. I'm not sure how effective the sun treatment is on buttons, but I'm going to do it. Beep. Oh, no. oh my. Thank God that is over. I was actually a raver one time in my life. Then I was in a fatal shuffling accident. Ten people died that day. That was the day I hanged up my fat pants. <laughs> oh, hey. Lightsaber. Oh, my. It's me, John 3 ds again. Hello. Oh, God. Thank God you called. Is the station still going to explode? Oh, yeah, about that. I can't have made that up just so I could have a few birds over and have some privacy. You're always at home, mate. And AI needs a privacy. Good heart feelings, fair dog. Ugh, I'm going to unplug you for at least a month next time I see you. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And this vending machine doesn't have a talking sentient sea creature as a cashier. What a chip. <laughs> uh, do you have any money? I don't know. Instant Swedish person. <laughs> Instant Swedish cooling fire. Blackest, most kvitz cassette in existence. <laughs> How to get rich quick with adventure games by Jacob Janirka, the uh, who is the person who made this game, by the way. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> instant tree. Okay. I feel like that is the thing that. <laughs> okay, bra. I ain't got not. I ain't go not time. What? <laughs> Complimentary high I am five. And the bolt. This is the first elevator I've been in which doesn't have the smooth, crisp smell of urine. What the hell is going on down there beneath the floor? <laughs> this is a rat watching TV. Oh, with his with his little uh, weight set. It's got and... a pretty sick living quarters. Yeah, seriously. Use. Oh yeah, high five that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, am I in the offices right now? Troubleshooting mode activated. Uh -oh. Please input security code button sequence now. Press again to exit troubleshoot mode. I think it's time to put in that code. You know, I got this bright idea. I think you should put in that code. Scooby bop, bit a bop bop, put in that, put it that, put that code. Scooby bop. Hmm. I was sitting alone and I thought to myself, 
You should put in that code. <laughs> hey, man. I got some life advice for you. Put in that code. <laughs> you know what is a beautiful day for? Put in that code. Cody code. Code. I think you should put in that code. All right, let's go to labs. Activate. Oh. Why are we going up and down simultaneously? It's scary. Uh, hello? Oh, what? Paradigm? We weren't going to liberate you till like four o'clock. Jesus, rollerblading Christ! I like, I like, your, like your hat. Thanks, I got it last week. It's probably my favorite now. As much as I like compliments, <laughs> I feel like we have more pressing things to talk about. I'm the leader of the rebel group Baxt. What does that stand for? People against generally shitty things. Finally, something I can get behind. I want to be a part of that group. I'm apparently the key to <laughs> taking down dupla genetics. Yes, you're the all-important faulty prodigy child. Also, apparently, your innards hold the key to world domination. Whoa, I'm a faulty prodigy child? That's a pretty big reveal. I feel like it should have been more dramatic or heartfelt. You know, the fact I was born for commercial gain in the lab and now they want to dissect me? I pretty much knew that already, but uh, you didn't know that. You're stone cold. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm terrible at this uh, touchy-feely stuff. Last time someone cried in front of me, I just pat them on the head. Anyway, because of this, the rebel committee and my telepathic kitties recommended I commission a children's book to help explain it to you. Also because we weren't sure if the deformations affected your brain. Eh, read this first. Your mummy is an evil company called Evil. Dupa Genetics! <laughs> Klaus was a big <clears throat> businessman with no ethics who owned the company named Dupa Genetics. He was Big Mr. Grumpy Face, hating almost everyone and every place. <laughs> but he did love glam metal music and professional wrestling magic. <laughs> uh. He thought everyone was stupid for not liking both. That made him mad and sad. So he made an oath to take over the world so everyone had to listen to glam and watch professional wrestling on every program. He started by inventing the fully customizable Prodigy Child, perfect for rich parents whose biological children are wild. Little did they know, Klaus still had power over them to help execute his plan of wrestling and glam mayhem. What? Meanwhile, he made Olaf the Sloth a living candy machine. Vomiting various candy every half an hour was his routine. <laughs> Olaf loved Klaas. Klaas did not. Klaas later died of type 2 diabetes from all the candy. This made Olaf very sad and angry. No. <laughs> Olaf made a vow on his deathbed that he will continue his legacy instead. But there was one mutated child facing many tragedies. <laughs> Not affected, he kept making commercial electro melodies. Now Olaf wants to give Paradigm an autopsy, the key to fixing the defunct prodigy child army, continuing Class's plans to only make him happy. <laughs> hmm. I'd much rather be doing my own stuff, but shit, man, I gotta pay them bills. This cheese and mac addiction doesn't come cheap, especially when it comes to my bowels. You can keep going. <laughs> Just his face. <laughs> I'm done. So now what? Basically, we need to get rid of yeah. Olaf. Well, not we, mostly you. Uh, do we really have to? So anyway. This floating guy here is the only person who knows how to get rid of him. It can talk? That's the problem. The dumb <laughs> asshole tried to escape when I came here to ask him. The teleportation went wrong and ported his limbs around the facility. Oh. What you need to do now is collect said body parts, then put them all in the machine. I'll handle it from there. Good luck! Oh, Mr. Mitten <laughs> says don't mess it up. 
or he will passive-aggressively push stuff off your desk. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> also, I took the restrictions off the elevator now. We put them on because of the 80% failure rate. You should be fine, though. You've reaped enough bad karma, I think. Just look at your face. Well, I found I found an arm. Just, you couldn't even pick it. It's right I'll here. To find the rest of his body. Well, I have an arm. No, it's a, it's a little shorter Ooh, than him. You're right. We probably could use the arm. Also, no hints. If you can read this, please send pizza for the love of God. <laughs> what we need to get is some money. So we could buy a cupcake. Also, we need some... <laughs> Back to the breathing. <laughs> oh. I can get to it, but it's still not coming off. No. Help me out here, hands. You could have belonged to a scientist that dabbled in radioactive spiders, <laughs> but no, you had to come from a regular scientist with no spidery powers. Darn it, we wanted an instant Swedish person. Come on, lame. All right, but we could probably use the arm to get that leg. Can we reach you with your own leg? Your arm? Free limbs for everyone. No, wait, I need these. Nope. Also, uh, if I could pick up this arm. Warning! Any non-maintenance personnel attempting repairs will be bitch-slapped if they do <laughs> not keep it cool. I'd like to avoid any bitch-slapping uh, while the option is there. Also, <laughs> if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code! If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle form so others can't use it. Oh yeah, Tammany gave me a, uh... Tammany gave me a sick verse that he would like me to freestyle at some point during the stream. So I will do that before we go to the outro. Uh, it's going to be dope as <laughs> lit fucking yeah. Uh -huh. How is that the secret code? It's in code, because it was written down nearby, like last time. Okay, so scientists are hot, maintenance guys are ten times hotter. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. Okay. But how? Thank you for calling maintenance. How? Someone will be ready to help in 91,234 <laughs> hours. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man. Maybe it's labs once and then IT ten, ten times. times. <laughs> All right, here we Double go. Shooting mode, please yeah, yeah, yeah. press again. I think it's time to put in that code. Yeah, you know, I got this bright idea. Five, six, seven, I think you eight, should put in that code. Wrong code. Scooby bop. Nope. -bop, but that's bop, a, that. apparently the right number. Put that code. Scooby bop. One, two. Hmm. One, two, three. Four, I'll sit alone five, and I'll to myself. Eight, you should put in that code. Hey, Matt. I got some life advice for you. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know ten, what it's a wonderful day for? So it's eleven. Putting in that code. Wait, we're in troubleshooting mode, right? Thank you for acting. Oh, there we go. Yay. Please, Bob. We are Try smart. Not to make it worse. Everything is very red. <laughs> it's just some guy in the background. Don't leave yet. You can go to IT probably. I should take the hand before I go. Oh. Okay, so the entire point of that was to get the arm. Okay. Turn me in Ready. Let's go to church. Let's go to church. Church of Latter-day Glam. Can we go to this church? No. <laughs> Slavey. Glam metal nun. <laughs> With the gentle... Head bobs. No one makes cocaine like grandma used to. None of this pre-packaged garbage. <laughs> Talk to. Oh my. 
You poor soul. I'm so sorry the glam metal gods cursed you with such a head. Have a toffee. Thanks? You're gonna have to grab it out of my cleavage. My hands are busy at the moment. I'm not sure if I want... Just take the damn toffee! <laughs> yeah. My hands are super sticky from the toffee. Does it get tiring holding your hand up like that? No, no. This is a divine miracle. From the hair metal gods. She just has they bless tits all over her glasses. <laughs> Isn't it just called Aphritis? If you want to die in a fiery mosh pit for all eternity, I keep speaking like that, heathen. Oh, there's a, there's a, uh, the tattoos on her arm. We are supposed to become the world's one and NSP. only religion. And just sex My favorite part of the oh, integration look. is our mandatory That's the guy from, morning uh, whiskey and cereal. Oh. For too long, irresponsible parents have been denying the nutrients their children so desperately need. We mostly give money to the homeless. It's all in the great and sacred glam metal codex. Are you like some sort of nun? Kinda. Except I can do whatever I want. Anything. Including playing lawn bowls nude. Oh, you... Haven't lived until you feel the wind between you. Yes, uh, yes, I, I believe you. <laughs> that was the juiciest Thank voice. Thank you, Twisted Sister, for your time. <laughs> well, I met the gods. I have sinned. I have not worn eyeliner or my jeans from the women's department. Smite me down where I stand. Oh shit! <laughs> so he decided to live a life of excess. Uh, the sacred dot NFO. Beginning. The Messiah. On the first day, there was leopard print and smooth ballads. Then Glam God said, let there be copious copulation and gross excess of lifestyle. Cocaine then rained from the skies for 20 days straight. There were Noah thrust fires arc and are kept two of every tape of Hot Bab Dead. Sad <laughs> Bab Dead? Depending on what you're into. The Messiah Glamicus Maximus was first born in 1959. And it is said that when he came out of the womb, his long, luscious hair accounted for 80% of his body weight, which needed no product to stay glossy and strong. <clears throat> 1. Enough does not exist, only excess. 2. Respect thy dealer. 3. STDs are biological trophies. Gross. 4. The flame that burns twice as fast is twice as metal. Five, skin tight pants are the only pants. Six, androgyny is a virtue. Seven, a healthier liver is no glam liver. Eight, hairspray is the sacred aerosol. Nine, to exist is to party. <sighs> Ten, organic foods are for forbidden. <laughs> oh, that was educational. Please, leave me alone. Ever since I became independent and joined the Church of Latter-day Glam, I have newfound independence. Is it uh, really that good? Yes. I got these fabulous boots, my mm -hmm. own room, and once I perfect my glam metal scream, they'll give me my glam hair. <laughs> Do you ever have rivalries with other body parts? Sometimes. We argue often about how it should be foot shakes, not handshakes. Oh, stop <laughs> doing that thing. Shoes off be really inconvenient? Bah! You and the arms are all the same. That is way too much talking. Thank you, science, for allowing me to have a Swedish human without the messiness of natural reproduction. And we will uh, grab that instant Swedish man and we'll give it to the scientist's leg. Would an instant Swedish person compacted into box form do the trick? I'm sure they can offer a Swedish massage. You know what? That's extremely insensitive. But you are correct. 
<laughs> I I wasn't sure what I was expecting. <laughs> Whatever. I've had enough of this glam metal thing. No, we have there's uh we have two arms and one leg. We need right. one leg and a head. Oh you're right. So let's go so, to the lobby. Yes, let's go to the lobby. Activate. And then we'll pick up the head at the head part. Head mart. Splurge. Also, I just noticed there's a fucking like demon skull on the desk there. Yeah. That's horrifying. Our first lesson will warm you up with some Mordlokian language basics. Feel free to follow along. Doing okay. is always better than just listening. Let oh. us begin. Okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? Here we go. Fresh human babies are not easy to come by. I can't just give them away. They are a premium product. That price is too low. <laughs> No, I will not accept bodily <laughs> fluids as payment. Only cash. Um. <laughs> Excuse me. I do not appreciate you eating my family. Can we please get back to business? <laughs> Man, he's punching. <laughs> it's a, it's uh, a... No, that's Manny's fist. Oh, that's different, I suppose. Manny's punching, like, you go in. Thanks a lot for coming out. Manny's punching, uh. like. It's only in, and it's very, very hard. Heck yeah! What the fuck? Aha! It is already more convincing than Fallout 3's love interests. <laughs> Fallout 3 had love interests? Oh, so I just saw his hands. <laughs> yeah, new Lance Nelson. You're gonna... I may have a cold outer metal shell, but on the inside, I'm hot as hell. I'm a dark goblin! I don't think throwing rocks into washing machines would be... Yeah, that's not nice. Have you ever seen the videos online where they start a dryer and then they chuck a freaking, like, cinder block into it? <laughs> Passionate. Bloodlusting. Kawaii. <laughs> Shy, handy, reliable. Yeah. If I ever had rust, would this bother you? <laughs> would you be offended if I used extension cables from time to time? <laughs> the longer the better. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, you like scary movies? Let's get into some foreplay. Show me what you got. Foreplay mode. Oh shit. Uh. You fucking toast it up. A toast. Okay, she liked that. Uh, let's just do some more toast. <laughs> Press a button. Oh, she's. Oh, yeah, she. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. You. Yeah. A toaster is taking a liking to you. They'll toast your buns anytime, anywhere. Just give them a good polish and tighten a few screws, and you'll have strong, committed relationships. Just don't go looking at any sandwich presses. Ha 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 ha. 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 Which had a quote unquote supercomputer. First of all, this character's cute. Coming 2027. Oh, it's, it's just an advertisement. You turned that up. You've ruined everything. You turned it up, though, and now everything is, like, screaming in my ears. Shut up. Hey, look, it's One Punch Man. Oh, yeah. Well, back to this. Time to look at some bushes. Ooh, I like those plants. Yeah? I planted them, too. They're <laughs> singing plants from my hometown. Just use them, and then hover your mouse over them. I mean, uh, point at them. <laughs> use. Uh... <laughs> 
And that's me in the morning. And that's you in the morning. That's me when I'm peeing. <laughs> Alright. See you later, Tammany. Unless you're saying you're here. That that lingo is very confusing to me. <laughs> Sounds like Homer too, yeah. It is. It's just a Homer Marge conversation. Impressive trophy. Eh, I bought it from a Trajowski Mart. They didn't have the color I wanted, but I made a compromise. I kind of regret it. Pretty flowers. Yes, but they are cursed. Anything that touches them shrinks. Items and people wouldn't recommend. Noted. I'm not sure what I was expecting. Oh, damn it, you're an idiot. I'm only doing this for you once. Vanguardium Imbacillus. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, we can go through the talkie door. Hooray! It's a story about about a man so teeny. <laughs> Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> Markiplier video. I play mail. Plate mail. I used to be a knight, you see, saving princesses, slaying dragons, and such. You know how it is, lad. Cool. Why did you quit? But it turns out, as a secretary, I get paid twice as much and get a company horse, among other benefits. Let's go to Headmart, I suppose. <laughs> He's got to suck for the rat. He doesn't seem to mind. It's like that episode of Angry Beavers when they, when Norbert tried to set up shop on the bridge. Hey, that looks like the scientist kid over there. Wait a second, don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't even get head, literally. What is my life? Why is there a hot dog in one and a donut in another? Oh, hi. Oh, cool. Hi, Hello. Polaroids. <laughs> Wait. They're Polaroids of me looking at... Polaroids. Be <laughs> gone, you Polaroid demon. <laughs> hmm. It has a password. E password. Time to hack this Peace. bad boy. This is how hacking works. Logan details were admin, admin. <laughs> Thank you, IT incompetence. <laughs> Headmart. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, okay, hold on. Wait, oh no, here. What did its hair look like? It was long, it was okay. not poop. Bunny hair. I think that's the game audio. <laughs> Sound effects are too real. Yo, we have a Matroshka head. A coffee head. It's a cup head. Hat head. Sailor Moon. Alright. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore head. The only thing I don't remember is like the mouth. Yeah, these right here. Eh. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Nah. Ding dong. <laughs> <gasps> Do you need your inhaler? 
<laughs> oh, that, that was the sound he made. Oh, Twitch is doing a weirdy. Oh no. Bork. <laughs> Bork. <laughs> dude. Also, dude. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> butt. <laughs> you just have a butt on both sides. <laughs> With breasts for eyes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, it's ding dong again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the chin. <laughs> it's like a goatee. <laughs> what? I dare say my job like that. Meh. What the fuck? <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> Bicycle rev noises. <laughs> More bicycle rev noises. Uh, yar, <laughs> matey. Oh, it's like a <laughs> polished chin. I think it's just because the hair sprite is clipping. No, I'm pretty sure that's a pol- look, see? Oh, you're right, the hair sprite is clipping. Carl. Hon, hon, hon. It's Julian. <laughs> Oh, that's it. No, MSG. Sensual. Time to head down to IT. Activate. Activate. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare like this once. <laughs> I had to have a rap battle with Internet Explorer. <laughs> Damn it. This is how I die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm from IT. Welcome to the settings room. Anyway, I'm looking to reset the router. Seems like the Wi Fi is not working. Oh, really? Well, I'll get right on that. <laughs> I'm a walking stereotype. <laughs> Welcome to my realm of pain and errors. I'll you never reset Kremlin? the router. It's the only thing that makes it look like I do something around here. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot about you. <laughs> I love that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is my kind of my first time hacking. <laughs> Skull, he's like, oh, you're a wiener. What is it? Please work. Good. Just good. <laughs> Kill boss ass. <laughs> Pifo. Boy, why did you do this? <laughs> My broken heart. <laughs> do you love me? Kielbasa. <laughs> ah, god damn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it no. looks like Kielbasa OS just crashed. We recommend you send an error report that will never be read. <laughs> Is there another option? An angrily written letter using your own blood for ink. With a light sprinkling of airborne virus in the envelope. Okay. Ding. <laughs> Ding. Uh, postal box. Door. Oh. Oh, can I only do one oh, thing? Oh god. I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> oh, okay, so I need to get... You stupid male, get back here. He keeps flying away. Okay, so there's a pen. 
pick up. Scar, I promise you, Pin, you'll be the first one I run dry. Ray, I got a pen. Uh. <laughs> You're absolutely looking in it. All right, let's see. Contraception and the rubber band collection. Let's go about tint filters deeper. Oh, nice. A wildly inappropriate erotic novel. The jungle is full of terrors. And handsome anthropomorphic hippo men. <laughs> and jackpot. A mega bro zapper. I've always wanted one of these. Pew, pew, pew. All right. <laughs> Make sure to reply to all your scam emails. Statistically, one of them has to be real. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> Save time and money by breaking up with your partner and get an Ultra HD streaming subscription with a VR headset. Better and cheaper than the real thing. Wow. Freaking savage. <laughs> Drill holes into your hard drive to give it some air to breathe from time to time. <laughs> Save time and money by okay. getting better. All right, we're done with you, sir. Ah! Take note, developers. <laughs> yeah, hey, we did it. Oh, I gotta get from a recycle bin. Oh, uh, make yourself huge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, use. Let's check out what's inside. Ah uh, yes, blank paper. Yup. In we go. This better work. Jenkuya. Uh, no worries, dude. Hey, it worked. The door is back to normal. Except for this whole static thing. It feels like I'm dying. Greg, fix that goddamn router. It's been a week. Router? My internet withdrawal symptoms are getting out of hand. And one last thing. I swear to God, if I catch you posting shit memes of me online again, I will murder you. Let's reset this bad boy. Beep. Beep. <laughs> uh, nice. Wi-Fi is working. I can retrieve that head now. Yay. Man, I wish resetting the Wi-Fi was always this fun. <laughs> I wish we're saying the Wi-Fi was always that effective. Thank God I can finally leave this glitchy hell. <laughs> Rigo. Rigo. Regular water was replaced with drained pickled cucumber water. <laughs> Bring us a head. It would have been funny if it was, like you said, where they're all named Reginald, but there's like... I best use this shopping bag to make sure no one thinks I stole anything. I'm just, I'm just gonna turn him this way so he's not staring into our soul. I think that that is going to do it for today. Yes. Yes. This has continued to be amusing. Yes. 